Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul and I have some things that I found at Marshalls. I am super excited. One thing is, well, I bought two things, Ray Dunn. Um, I'm probably going to return one, but I'll show you and explain why uh, when I get to that part of the haul. Um, before we get started, I would just love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button. Just click the bell button and click all. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video and just give it a big thumbs up it just helps to support my channel grow and it just allows YouTube to know that you are watching and enjoying this type of content all right so let's begin with the haul I'm just gonna start with these I have bought them before um, they are made in Canada the um, the bad monkey popcorn so I bought two bags uh, I bought the Le big dill and then I also bought the big ketchup. Um, these ones each are 80 grams and they're $1.25 each. These two are my absolute favorite. They are very tasty um, and they do have a lot of flavor on them as well. So if you do see these, go grab them now because they are absolutely delicious. I know they had the original, they had a nacho flavor and they also have like a creme brulee one, but I think that's more at the Dollarama. But uh, anyway, these two are my go-to and my favorite ones. I got those and then I haven't bought these in a while we love them um, but I just again haven't gotten them in a while they are the elephant uh, pretzels so they are the baked squeezed pretzels um, I picked up the black and white sesame and I also picked up the tomato and herb these are really great. Yes, they're $1.25. They are a little bit smaller bags, but they are delicious. Great to take for your work, uh, lunch. Great to take on little road trips, you know. Um, they are 70 grams per bag. And these, honestly, these go well with hummus. Like, we actually love, is it the Sante Fontaine? Anyway, it's a caramelized onion hummus. And oh my gosh, these guys go so well with them. So <laughs> we got those. <laughs> And then I just picked up my uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk Hazelnut uh, Chocolate Bar for $1.25. It's not bad. They are quite large uh, chocolate bars. They are 100 grams. So for $1.25, I like that. And I'm going to take it for lunch too. So good to have a little, little snack because you guys know I love chocolate. <laughs> And all right, so I'm just going to move on to the other items. Again, everything's just kind of miscellaneous. I don't really buy any like crafting items. The only crafting item I did buy is the stealth adhesive stencils by the Crafter Square. I haven't seen this pattern before, but I love the, um, the arrow look as well, the triangles. Um, I just thought that would be really uh, good to have on hand. They are uh, self adhesive, so they are stickers. I don't tend to really stick them on. You could always just use painter's tape and really seal them in place before you start stenciling them, but you can always reuse these as well picked up that and then check this out guys okay this is my jot I thought this was super super cute I took a picture of the three that I found but of course I picked up this one you'll understand why check out this cute little pen it's a pen guys <laughs> oh my gosh it is a flamingo pen check out that face <laughs> pom pom ball okay guys this is for my own personal use at home i write my little notes i love to write like when i do a challenge or a diy challenge or whatnot i always like to jot down what i think i'm going to do for that video and whatnot so i always like to have a pen on hand and why not have a funky pen like this with a flamingo on it <laughs> I got that and then I just picked up this so this is the candles I did see these um being hauled with my U.S. YouTubers I only picked up the one scent there was three I have a picture of all three that I found the fact that they're $1.50 now for us Canadians um I just wanted to pick my favorite one out of all of them but I thought this one was super adorable or not super adorable but you you know what I mean? It, everything to me is adorable, especially when it's at the Dollar Tree. And if they're small and cute, they're always adorable. <laughs> but this is the Amber Orchid. Orchid. Um, but I just loved the pattern on that. It looks so retro. Like, does that look very 80s? Like 80s wallpaper or something? I mean, that, anyway. But the smell is amazing. This was my favorite one. There was like another one. Again, I have a picture, but I think there was a rose one. I'm not a big floral scent. I like more like the musk, um, the sweeter smells. 
So yeah, no, this one smells so, so, so good. And again, I just like the color of it too. Very neutral. Um, you could decorate this with a little bit of jute twine if you wanted to. But yes, I just liked that. And I know the stickers come off quite easily, which is nice because I hate that when it's on, when they put the stickers, like the price tags on the actual labels that are super pretty and you want to look at them. I hate when you have to take out the, the sticker and it like rips off the paper. Um, but yeah, that came off super easy and it was awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that happened. <laughs> so I got that. And then I just picked up another one of these. I have hauled this before, but it has broken. Um, I just bought one of these claw clips. I bought another one. I always put my hair up in the shower. I do my little body wash, whatever. But a couple of the little uh, claws broke. Um, I did drop it in the shower, I think. So it just snapped a couple times. So it's kind of like now when I clip it in my hair, it doesn't really hold on to everything now. So I just picked up another one. I just thought they were pretty as well. I just love the dusty rose color as well. And then I picked up this by LA Colors, um, their new um, dramatic lash adhesive, but I like that they were like in little tubes. And this one was, um, this is clear. They did have another package that was black uh, adhesive, but I thought this would be great to use. Um, I did buy these little eyelashes, uh, not the full eyelash, but they were just like little individual with maybe like four or five eyelashes per bundle and you can stick them on. So I was kind of maybe thinking about doing like a little cat eye at the very, um, on the side of my eyes rather than putting the whole eyelash on because I find with those eyelashes this part like the inner corner always seem, seems to go up and then the eyelashes just look straight across my eye not attractive <laughs> so I just picked up a couple of these to have on hand if I do that cat eye with those eyelashes and then I picked up this. You guys know I've hauled these type of things at the Dollarama. I really love them at the Dollarama, but I thought I'd give these a try because I haven't seen this package before at the Dollar Tree. It is the Alibi Optical Lens Wipes. You do get 24 per package. Um, again, I just love these. I love them for my phone. I love them for my glasses. Uh, I love them for our computer. They're just really great to, to have on hand. The ones at the Dollarama, it dries fairly quickly. So I like to have everything kind of put together all at once. I have my glasses, my, my phone and my computer all right there. So I can just kind of do a quick wipe with all of them at the same time. And I usually just use one cloth. So figured I'd give that a try and see if there is, um, what I'm really concerned about was like the streaking. The ones of the doll Rama, they don't streak and I love them. So I'm hoping that'll be the same for these as well. All right, so that is it for the Dollar Tree. I found some really cute things at Marshalls and I'm gonna show you right now. So these are for Jackson. They are the famous word, T-R-E-A-T-S. <laughs> um, but I thought these were really fun uh, for six and nine. They're a little bit more expensive, but we have bought them for him in the past. We have gotten them at PetSmart. So I have seen this name before. The Bosse or the Bocce's Bakery. Um, but I thought this was really pretty, first of all. Like it's the packaging alone with the little flowers and stuff like that, but it's bacon and blueberry recipe. And I love the fact that it's like with bacon, blueberries and honey, all natural dog treats, baked, and it's baked in the U.S. as well. So that is cool. They had a couple other ones. They had like a banana flavor one as well with like some different uh, patterns on the packaging too. You guys know I'm, I'm a sucker for packaging as well. Like if it's cute on the outside, I'm just, and if it's just as good on the inside, that I will buy. <laughs> so hopefully Jackson will like that as well. And the expiry date is great. It doesn't expire till May 23rd, 2023 got that and then this okay guys you guys know i love flamingos my sister is actually going to be 30 but she's her birthday's not till december so it just passed i guess it's only february now so i'm gonna have to hold on to this for the whole year but i thought it was really really pretty for 3.99 a little bit more expensive but you know you can find these at dollar tree as well but these ones are just like just the up factor a little bit you know so it was 30 and fabulous with the flamingo i thought that was adorable <laughs> I think the cart alone is like, wouldn't that be super cute to just put like in a square frame and just put on your uh, coffee table or your tear tray? That is a super cute, actually almost, yeah, it does say 30 on it. So maybe I could, anyway, but this is intended for my sister for her 30th birthday. <laughs> Let's hope I can remember where I put this when her birthday actually does come around. <laughs> And I bought these. Now I'm going to keep my eye out. I don't know if I'm going to return them just yet because uh, I only found the one particular item and I'm going to, uh, I want to do the two together. You'll see why I picked up these 
gorgeous for $12.99. They are a little bit expensive, but they are uh, stainless steel with the rose gold handles, the uh, measuring cups. I thought these were absolutely adorable. Um, I just want to see if I can find, because when I went to the store, I couldn't find the matching um, tablespoons. So I would like to get the matching tablespoons. If I can't, then um, I will return them. And if it's, you know, with uh, Marshalls, I don't know about like TJ Maxx or anything like that in the, in the US, but if you go over your 14 days, you usually get like a gift card or a credit note. But to me, that is totally fine. Cause you know me, I will always be able to find something again at Marshalls, Winners, HomeSense, you name it, I will be able to find it. So yes, if I can find the, the tablespoons, I will definitely keep this set cause I just love it so much. <laughs> and this, okay, I bought two. I wasn't gonna keep both because they are a little bit ex more expensive, but they are the Ray Dunn. And I have been on the hunt forever and a day for a new travel mug because the one I have, the plastic lid on the top, right by the mouth is cracked. It is held on by that little plastic sealer that goes into the mug. Um, so it's not like, it's not sharp or anything like that. So I can still use it. It doesn't drip or anything, but it's broken. That's my problem. Um, but get this, okay guys, they're both $16.99 travel mugs. Check these out. One says eye candy, and then this one is the XOXO. And you can tell too, they are different uh, pinks. So one's a little bit lighter, and this is more like a bubblegum uh, pink. But, and it does, yeah, it also says like the Ray Dunn on the top. The thing is like, I, this is like, this is the one I'm gonna keep because, um, when I read like eye candy, I was like, I'm gonna get it though because I was like, I haven't seen any Ray done. And I'm like, I just want, I need a mug. And it, it was cute when I saw it, but I was like, I'm just gonna hold on to the receipt. I'm gonna hold on to the mug. And I'm gonna go in the next week and see if anything else has been put on the shelf. So when I went back, I did find the XOXO. I love this one. I wish though, again, beggars can't be choosers, right? But I wish the XOXO was in white. But I mean, this the black is still super cute too. But anyway. Yeah, so I think, I just wanted to show you, I, the reason I kept them to put them in the video, I just wanted to show you the two different ones that I found. So they are coming out again, like I said, in stores. Go to your local uh, Marshalls, Winners, HomeSense. I know TJ Maxx in the States right now is loaded with the Ray Dunn um, uh, decor. Super jealous. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm keeping definitely the XOXO and I'm gonna have to return the eye candy. I don't know, eye candy. Like I don't wanna be walking around like, hey, it's the eye candy girl, you know? Like, I don't know, I feel, I feel weird holding something like that. But yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for the Dollar Tree and the um, Marshalls haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like the camera kind of slid down a little bit. Did it slide down this whole time? I can't, I don't even know. I feel like I'm, my head's cut off right now, but... <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I do post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. There is the odd time where I am in a challenge. So like this week is Wednesday, or uh, sorry, you'll be seeing this on Saturday. Um, what is it, the February 12th, then I will have uh, another probably haul on the Wednesday, but then I'm also in uh, Crafted by Corey's mini challenge. That's gonna be this coming Friday, February 18th at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I'll probably skip out on the uh, Saturday video. So that's why, like I said, it's very important to click that bell button and click all, so that way you won't be noticed, or that way you won't miss out on any videos that I upload. That's it guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>